With the spindle on the right hand side of the machine on the motor plate will bring up the cutter about 10 to 50 millimeters above the machine table. We take out the motor of its sleeve by carefully pulling it out. We remove the old cutter and replace it with a new one. Always be careful, the cutters have sharp cutting edges. The distance on the collet nut to the tip of the cutter is determined by the cutter type and is described in the machine manual. Before we install the motor again, make sure to remove the old chip breaker. Take off the butt stop, flip it over and use it as a setup jig. By turning the knob on the rear side of the motor plate, you can move the cutter towards or away from the operator. If you have found the right position, you install the new chip breaker. Turn the motor main switch on and cut the new groove into the chip breaker by pulling the handle gently up. We push and hold the F button until it turns into the programming mode. You switch up until the display shows P9. Then you choose the digit and you set the desired digit. Press F again and hold it until the unit goes back in its normal mode. By pressing F and set together, you set the reference point. The same procedure applies for setting the keyway routing height. Loosen the two screws on the rear side of the display housing and turn it over for easy access to the battery packs. Use a very fine screwdriver and open both little screws on the rear side of the display. Take out the old batteries and replace it with new ones.
Thank you for choosing Hoffman. For further information, please visit our website or call us at any time.